Hi, this is Mrs. Kathy from k5tunes.com. We're going to be looking at the trumpet today. This is our second edition for the trumpet on K5 Tunes. We're going to be looking at how to produce our first note and also how to hold the entire instrument. Last time we looked at just the mouthpiece and how we put the mouthpiece into the mouthpiece channel. We want to make sure that we don't ever pop the mouthpiece into the channel. That actually can cause the mouthpiece to stick and hopefully your teacher has a mouthpiece puller or mouthpiece remover in case it ever does stick but you don't want to have that complication because most of the time when your mouthpiece gets stuck to the rest of the trumpet you can't close your case and that's problematic to take your instrument home. So once we have our mouthpiece inside the channel we want to hold our instrument like this. Left hand will be going thumb and first finger around the three tubes that hold the valves. So your thumb is here, your first finger is here, and then you can put either your third finger or your fourth finger, middle finger or ring finger on this little ring that's right here. Then your right hand, the pinky, will go in this little um, bent part of the middle. Your thumb is right here, and one, two, three. Very important to make sure that your fingers that are on the valves are slightly curved so that your fingers are sitting right in the center of the valve instead of having your fingers over the valve like this. What happens if you constantly are playing the instrument like this is that the valves can actually bend slightly out. And so you want to aim your fingers like this. Then you simply want to Hold your instrument tall. You don't want to hold it up too far. You don't want to hold it down too far as well. And you notice that my posture on the chair is tall and my arms are out a little bit. Instead of having my arms in and all squished, my arms are out slightly, not like a bird, but out just a little bit slightly. Our first note that we're going to be looking at on our book that we use in Covina Valley is called Accent on Achievement. and you want to make sure that when you're getting the book that you request the B flat trumpet book accent on achievement all the books look the same all the accent on achievement series looks the same the only thing that's different of course is the name and then the content that's inside so on the very top of the book you'll see that it says B flat trumpet right here and of course the clarinet player would get the clarinet book etc so what we want to do is we want to buzz our lips inside the mouthpiece and we're aiming for a particular pitch. Last time we talked about how the mouthpiece um, can actually produce several different pitches and we practiced this before. Different sounds either very kind of tight like a kind of like a baby, a baby duck and then kind of like a mama duck and then like a daddy duck. Well, on our first note, which is the note E, we're going to be pressing down valve 1 and 2. This is valve 1, 2, and 3. The closest one to your face is valve 1, and then the middle is 2, and then 3. So we're going to be pressing down 1 and 2. And we're going to be pursing our lips. And we might have to experiment with this just a little bit because we want to match a certain pitch. In fact, we're going to hear the pitch on a piano right now. The pitch that's going to be played is actually D because the notes on a piano and trumpet are slightly different. So if we'll hear the D on the piano, did you notice how that matched the pitch? I was playing valve one and two. Now we're going to hear the pitch on the piano again but this time I'm going to change the shape or the tightness of my mouth slightly so it's not going to match that pitch exactly. So let's hear the note again on the piano. Did you notice that that wasn't the same pitch? It didn't match. So what we want to do is the sound that comes from my trumpet has to match that piano pitch exactly. So let's hear that pitch again. What happens if you loosen your mouth too much? Listen to what happens. Here's the pitch again. 
Not right. So I'm going to correct it this time. Let's play it again. Now, if you notice, I had kind of a loose mouth and then I changed it by tightening my lips a little bit to get to the right pitch. It would be wonderful if someone at home had either a keyboard or a piano or you could even go online and look for uh, a site that would be able to give you the note D. When you're playing the note E on the trumpet, one and two, you want to be able to match that with the piano note D. So D on the piano, E on the trumpet. We hope that you get a chance to practice that several times, being able to match that pitch on the trumpet, because that will be the foundation of everything you do on the trumpet. You'll need to match, you'll need to listen to the pitch, and then match it on your mouthpiece. Thank you very much. We hope that you enjoyed this second tutorial on the trumpet for k5tunes.com.